All right, I just wanted to give an update on how I'm progressing with different uh, projects and things. Um, some of you may have noticed I just posted two quick little videos to uh, celebrate the fact that I've just finished reworking some of the books that I've been writing writing in the last couple of months. Um, in particular, I finished the Interpretation of Dramatic Lithics, which is a 38,000, 40,000 word dissertation on the significance of the fingerprint patterns. And that was a major work that I wrote in the early 1990s. And, um, and it's been really good to, to um, improve that, revise that, update that, expand it a little bit, uh, and make it into a better book than the one that I wrote 30 odd years ago. But it is the definitive guide to the significance of the fingerprint patterns as they're found on each of the fingers. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff in that to do with anthropology, uh, forensic science, uh, medical dermatoglyphics, physiological significance for fingerprint patterns, and history of, of dermatoglyphics, as well as the psychological significance of each of those patterns on each of the fingers. So that's a really important work that I've, I've written many years ago. Um, Johnny Fincham has always said it's the best book I ever wrote, so it's the first one to get done. So that one is done and dusted and in the bag. Um, and two other books that I've been working on um, revising are The Beginner's Guide to the Hand, and the studies for the intermediate diploma, which were two uh, books that I used of teaching material in the 1990s when I was teaching in, in the Chirological Society. And I've merged those two books together to kind of make a, a very useful workbook, um, which is basically forming the, the handouts that I'm using for the teaching that I'm doing, where I'm teaching either in individual classes, um, in my handwriting immersion course, which is a six months a deep dive into handwriting uh, or on my introductory courses like the handwriting discovery or the handwriting diploma course which, ten, which are seven week modules um, where we go through things a little bit more lightly not quite so much depth but the material is nonetheless derived from the books that I wrote in those years and those form the handouts for those courses that I'm doing right now and this last week I've just finished rewriting the fourth book um, since I started this three, four months ago, and that is the book that I did on the major airline, which is a, I think something like a 15, 16,000 word essay on the significance of the major airline or the headline, if you don't know, the elemental nomenclature, the lower transverse crease in medical scientific views. And so that's another major achievement to got that done as well. So that's a kind of a, a huge amount of progress. And that's putting me in a good stead for actually starting to release some of this material now. Um, and that's what I want to talk to you about now, because, um, you know, it, this YouTube channel um, is going to be very much for my introductory uh, talks, which have already been posted on there. And I'm going to make some commentary about various things that I find, uh, particularly to correct uh, people's misunderstandings about different things to be seen in the hand, um, because those I want to kind of correct those errors. But if you want to really study handwriting, you need to come to my Patreon website. So I've been working on the Patreon site now for about three months, and I've just developed a whole new tier, uh, which I want to tell you about today. So there are three tiers if you want to come and help me, support me, and um, with all this chirological work on Patreon. Um, so I've got a, um, the full-blown mem uh, membership is called, I call this for the serious student. Now, that's really reserved for people who've already studied with me people who've completed a, a beginner's course or a handwriting diploma course, uh, whether they did that in the last couple of years or whether you've done that in a long, long time ago. So, so I've got some students there who were studying with me in the 1990s. And we get together once a month and we have a print reading session. Um, I select some interesting handprints that I've come across and we discuss those together as a group. And so it's about learning the process of how to actually read hands is a very core part of that particular study group. But that is a study group that's basically dependent upon you having familiarity with elemental approach to hand reading. Uh, and if you have yet to learn that approach, then you need to go and do a course. And the courses that are available online, um, you can do one with me, which I call my hand reading uh, discovery course. And I'll be teaching one of those uh, in, in, in between October and December this year, hopefully. I'm just setting that up right now. Um, and or you can study with Felicity Booth, who's in the United Kingdom. Um, and she does a very similar course covering the elemental principles. And that will stand you in good stead for uh, doing more serious work uh, if you want to do some more serious studying with me, um, what we call the more advanced, advanced kind of studies. 
And, and to give you an example of that, um, I mean, I'm, I'm now three quarters of the way through my hand reading immersion, which is a six month immersion course um, with some American students. And we've got five, uh, we've got five sessions left and five sessions left we've got, basically this is what we're gonna be covering in the five sessions we've got left. Uh, vocational analysis from the hand, how to work out what jobs people do. Uh, health analysis, um, so how to diagnose health issues from the hand. Emotional and relationship analysis. That's a whole day seminar on that one. Um, another one, another session on trauma and identification of trauma as it's seen in the hand. And the last session on Buddhism and the hand and the practice of hand reading from a sort of Buddhist, Buddhist and spiritual perspective. So basically we've got five, um, we've got five analyses that we're doing over the next five weeks, if you like, one for each of the elements. Uh, vocation analysis is fire, health analysis is earth, emotion analysis is water, trauma is psychological analysis, so that's air, and then Buddhism and spiritual analysis uh, is, is the ether element. So that's the kind of level of, of stuff that we're talking about. And, you know, that comes after doing uh, 15 three-hour sessions, which is what, that's 45 hours, probably about 50 hours altogether because we tend to run over 50 hours of tuition um, to cover the basics of handwriting and that's what's needed just to kind of really get to grips with the basics of that um, but if you're interested in doing the six month immersion with me um, you'll probably find it more useful to start if you haven't done elemental handwriting before be useful to start with the beginners course because the beginners course will give you the basis by which you can do that immersion so if you want to find out more about what that is um, well, you can watch the videos here on YouTube, but you can also come and join me at Patreon because I've got two other levels in the Patreon membership. Um, one, which is uh, a call for the curious students. So that's for people who've got some familiarity with hand reading already. Maybe you studied with Johnny Fincham, maybe you've done some of your own private study, um, but you've been thinking about hands and you're interested in looking at hands. Um, and at that level, um, that's got a combination of uh, hampered assessments of famous and interesting people. Um, I've done people like David Byrne, David Bowie, um, Jimi Hendrix, who else? Margaret Thatcher, um, a couple of really interesting characters that I've met in my in my life. Um, a guy called Christopher Wallace, who's a Tantra scholar. Um, some women who've had unf unfortunate experiences at the hand of a cult leader. Um, so Russell Brand is, is another one I've done as well. So there's lots of people who, whose hands I've assessed, and those are available. Uh, at that, at the curious, no, at the what is it, motivated student level? I just renamed it as the motivated student level. But I'm also handing out some various snippets of talks in that one, and some of my written work as well will be released through that level. And but if that's not quite right for you, and you're just kind of oh, I'm not really too sure. Well, I've just invented a new level, which I call the curious learner, um, and that's going to be a drip feed of. Uh, some basic pointers to do with different features of the hand, um, what the significance of, for example, certain line formations mean or certain fingerprint patterns mean. Um, and there will be kind of quite bite-sized chunks. So if you don't have time to get into a full-time study right now, that'll be a really good level for you to learn on uh, and kind of get up to date with all the stuff that's coming out. Because I'm just basically putting out there all this material that I've been sitting on for the last 20 years. Um, you know, in the 1990s, I wrote 15 books in about a two year period. Um, and I, you can probably see that uh, wall of books and, and files behind me. Well, that's all my chronological knowledge. Uh, and I'm basically putting it out there. This is the time to get involved. If you're interested in studying hands, don't miss this opportunity. I'm not going to do this forever. Um, but right here, right now, I'm on fire. And I'm putting a lot of stuff out and this is a very vibrant time for you want to accelerate your knowledge and your understanding of hand reading then you need to come and join me at patreon that doesn't mean don't subscribe here you know this the stuff in youtube is useful as well but this is going to be more for general consumption and for interest but if you're serious about learning about hand reading come to me at patreon www.patreon.com forward slash hand reading i'll put the link in the notes below and come and check it out you can do a free trial um, so you can join at one of the membership levels to have a look at it and see what you think. Um, and then, you know, if you like it, then meet me there. So if you're serious about handwriting, come and sign up for, for Patreon because that's that's where all the good stuff is happening. And it will put you on the right track for pursuing your studies. Uh, you can do some courses from there. 
and later on, if you're very serious about it, you can do a six month immersion with me in 2025, which will probably begin in June uh, next year. So that's the planning I'm making it for that at the moment. So, all right, I look forward to seeing you.